Hello again and thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. Just wanted to share with you one of my favorite teas to drink. I drink it almost every day. It's green matcha tea, green matcha tea. I guess you would call it a green matcha tea latte. I make it kind of like a latte, um, but I was getting it often at Starbucks all the time. And I was like, you know, I probably could make this at home. So I went on a search trying to find green matcha tea and I didn't even know that they sold it in stores. Um, but my friend Jennifer told me that they had it at Trader Joe's. So here is the powder form of green matcha tea. This is from Trader Joe's and it's a type of tea that originates from Japan. So um, I'm just gonna tell you a few of the benefits. I didn't even know it had so many um, health benefits. I just love the way that it tasted, but it's really, really good for you. And I have a few notes just so I won't forget anything, um, but it's really high in antioxidants. Antioxidants are the little magical nutrient enzymes that are responsible for fighting against uh, radiation, giving us a younger looking skin, preventing a number of threatening diseases. So really high in antioxidants. It's supposed to really be a very calming drink. Green matcha tea also is supposed to help with your overall concentration, boost memory, I didn't know that. It says here that it also increases your energy levels and endurance. This is just a basic overview of the benefits of green matcha tea, but you can always research that on your own. It helps to burn calories. So it's supposed to help to increase your metabolism. It helps to detoxify the body. It's supposed to help with your skin, to help your overall complexion. It helps with your immune system and amazing flavor and it really does have an amazing flavor it's just like this really rich creamy tea it's not too strong and it just has a really light flavor and i make it as a latte i'm gonna make it with you on this video so you can see it's really simple but i use this cute little tea kettle i'll make like a big batch of it and then i got this uh, as a gift from my mom from tiavana but it's really cute you can put little um, tea lights underneath to keep it warm so i'll make a big batch of it and then I'll put it in this cute little tea kettle and whenever I want some more, I'll just make another cup. But this is my really big mug that I like to use here. And I'm gonna show you how, how to make it. It's really, really simple. What I do is I'll take my uh, organic vanilla soy milk and you can always add um, vanilla to your mixture if you like, but I don't have vanilla since this is already a vanilla flavor. And I'll take half water, half soy milk, organic soy milk, and then I'll take some raw honey. And I'll put that in there and I'll warm that up. And then what you do is you take two, I, I'm taking two because this is a really big mug. Isn't this cute? Like a boss. <laughs> I love this mug, I use it all the time. But um, I take about two of the matcha tea packages take about two of those so just take two of these and I just put in a little bit of cold water I was told from my friend Katie you want to mix it with cold water because at first I couldn't get all of the powder to mix really well so um, you pour the matcha tea powder in the cup in the mug Make sure you get it all out. So what you do is you whisk. I have these cute little um, bamboo whisk, uh, this cute little bamboo whisk that came with um, this tea set. So as you can see, it's like this green powdery mixture and you whisk it and you want to whisk it to try to get all of the, um, you see how it's mixing there? You want to try to get all of the powder to dissolve in the water. So I remember the first few times that I made it, I was getting a bunch of clumps and I couldn't figure out how to get the clumps out. So you mix, mix, mix until you get all of the clumps dissolved into the water. So I'm just gonna continue mixing until I get it all dissolved. So yeah, you wanna just whisk, whisk, whisk until you don't see any more of the green matcha tea powder clumps. Um, you just, so that way you have like a nice smooth drink. So just whisk, whisk, whisk. And if you don't have one of these cute little bamboo whisk, 
You can always use just a regular um, handheld whisk or you can blend it in a blender um, or food processor, anything that'll help get the clumps dissolved in the water. So you do that first. So that's the first step. And then you take the, you can use almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk, any type of non-dairy milk, or you can use regular milk. I just prefer to um, drink non-dairy milk, but you take milk, water, and then any type of sweetener. You can use um, honey. Um, I've tried maple syrup, that tastes really good. So you warm that up on the stove. So that's your mixture. And so then what I do, so this is really warm, make sure you're really careful and you pour your mixture, your water, milk, and honey mixture into the cup. So just pour that in the cup. And I'll make a big batch of this and I'll put it in this tea kettle sometimes. And that's really good uh, to have throughout the day. And I'll just put little tea lights underneath and it keeps it warm all day. And that's it. And then you just stir it a few more times to get it all dissolved. And it looks really smooth and yummy. But this is one of my favorite, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so this is one of my favorite um, teas to drink. And I just wanted to share it with you because I didn't know it had so many health benefits. So um, when, you get a when you get time, look up the many health benefits of green matcha tea. There's so many more. I just did a basic overview of uh, the benefits of green matcha tea, but it's really, really good. It's warm, it's a comforting drink. I have it in the mornings and so yeah, it's one of my favorite drinks and I'm saving money because I'm not going to Starbucks all the time because at first I was going to Starbucks and getting these, but it tastes almost, almost as good as theirs. <laughs> not as good, but almost as good as theirs. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, I hope you give it a try. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Make sure you like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.